Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do relative gain matching inside of Ableton Live using only free plugins. Now I got this idea from Ozone 6, which has a relative gain switch where you can hit the switch and then bypass Ozone and it will let you hear the affected version and compare it to the original version without change in the overall gain. Because louder is usually perceived as better, this is a great tool to have. Now there's a way to do it just using a regular maximizer and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So first thing you should do if you don't already have a maximizer, go download this Loud Max plugin. Super great plugin for um, getting your tracks loud via maximizer compression. So what I'm gonna do right now is um, show you that I have negative six on the threshold and then negative six on the ceiling or the output. So now if I play this beat for you and I A, B the entire effects rack here, the volume will stay relatively the same, but we will be able to hear what the saturator and compressor are doing to the audio a lot better without there being that huge six dB jump in volume. So let's go ahead and listen. Here's with it, and then I'm gonna go without it. So as you can hear, the track sounds better with this little bit of saturation and compression, but there wasn't that 6 dB jump in the output. So if I bring this back up to you know, negative 0.4, we can hear that there's a huge difference. So as you can hear, uh, it's a lot more difficult to hear what the saturator is doing. So now that I have this all set up, I can actually turn off the compressor and just focus on what the saturator is doing by doing the same thing, the, uh, the, a, the relative gain AB thing here. And as the preset title suggests, the, the warm, um, the mids and the highs are actually feel a lot warmer because of the saturator. And now I can do the same with the compressor here and just hear what just the compressor is doing to the audio. And it sounds like it's really tightening up the lower end, which is what you know the compressor should be doing, and it's it's doing a great job. So I just wanted to show you that quick trick on how to get the relative gain EQ uh, AB structure going on with a with a maximizer, and that is just have the threshold in the ceiling or the output at the same level. And then when you're done, obviously, when you're ready to export or render your track, you should bring it up to you know negative point three dB on the ceiling or the output, so you can have your track super loud. Right? Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope you learned something and we will see you next time. Peace.